Okay, good evening, everyone. It's day 21 on the carnivore diet. A couple of things quickly to get started with. Number one, we have a massive windstorm outside. I think they're about 80, 90 mile an hour winds. Sorry, that might be a bit excessive. I think it's more 70 to 80 mile an hour winds outside. It's, um, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but if you hear some background noise, that's probably what it is. It's actually blowing the tiles on the house. So I don't know if we're going to have some tiles missing tomorrow. There's also a barn that we have behind us, and there have been a couple of massive, massive crashing sounds back there. So um, we can't see it because there aren't any lights on, so I don't have any idea what's going on back there, but it's sounding pretty terrible. Um, I'm hoping that by tomorrow the weather will be cleared up a little bit because I've got to do the school run on the motorcycle, although wind is a bit fun. I I actually quite like a little bit of wind on the bike, but um, wind and rain and all that's not so great when I've got my son on the back. Anyway... Next thing is, holy shit, I had a video basically get promoted by YouTube for some reason, and on Friday, I I went from sort of having 20, maybe 15 views of any of these videos, I've I've had like 15, 20 a day, something like that, I got nearly 1,800 views on Friday um, across the channel, so I have no idea how I showed up in the YouTube algorithm or what happened or where it promoted me or, or or where that any of that traffic came from. But I was totally not expecting that. And I was actually, I know you, I've mentioned I was out, I was at my in-laws and um, yeah, I was just looking, doing my updates and everything last night and I checked just to see if anybody might have made a comment. And there were like 48 or 49 comments and I was like, oh my God, what happened? And I, I, I don't even look at the stats for the channel because I don't really expect anybody to be watching this because I don't promote it. Um, I don't do anything to, I don't, I don't even put it on LinkedIn or my social medias or anything. I don't do anything. I just post the videos. And again, it's because it's practice for me and I kind of wanted to put it out there and specifically the diet. I do put carnivore diet in as some keywords. So hopefully, you know, if someone was interested that they might stumble across it. But yeah, I had no idea that it would blow up like that. So that was pretty cool. And I know they say never read the comments. Um, (laughs) And I think broadly speaking, that's true. But when I'm starting out, I think it's good just to, I wanted to read them and I wanted to see what people thought. And thank you to everybody who had a nice comment. There were only a couple of people that had things that were a little bit negative, which is fine. And they were mainly a criticism of the diet, not of me personally, which is absolutely fine. And, and, and I can take that and everybody's entitled to their opinion. So when people do that, let's have a, let's have a normal civilized discussion around it. We don't need to call each other names or anything like that. If we want to have a debate about the diet, we can do that. Totally happy to do that. Um, but the other thing that came out of it, which was good because it's something that I know anyway. I mean, I guess to say, and I've said this a couple of times, I'm not like a, I'm not a carnivore diet zealot. I don't, I'm like, okay, I have to, I can only eat this and I can never eat one of those things. And I can't have tea because it's an animal product. I'm not doing it to that level of detail and I probably won't. And I don't care to, if I can do it mostly, and take most of the things out, I think that'll be okay. But every, almost everybody caned me over peanuts, and I know they're not on the diet, first of all. And I eat them as a cheat because I know they're not on the diet. So if I feel like I want to cheat with something, I have them because two reasons. One, I've had them before, and I, I know I don't react to them because part of this is about elimination and trying to figure out and heal some of the stuff that's wrong with me. And I'm 99% sure that peanuts, that I don't have any reaction to peanuts. So I'm pretty sure it's not that. And it's not that bad of an alternative. However, I do take everybody's point that that could be part of the re... And I don't need them that much. I might have... 50, 65 grams of of peanuts in a day, which aren't that many carbs. Yes, they do have carbs in them, but it's it's not as bad as some other things might be. And that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. 
but the point of them is to be a cheat. And so that while I'm easing myself into the diet, if I feel like I want to cheat on something, then I allow myself to cheat with peanuts. And so that's why I have them. But again, I do take all the comments and I do, I understand them all. And so I think probably what I will do is I've, I've kind of been feeling like tightening down and being a little bit more strict anyway. So I think for the end of the month, so we've got another week and a bit left. So, pro well, we've got 10 days left, actually. I probably should start before then, but we'll see. But at least for the next couple of days, I'm going to start slowly trying to phase that out. And I am going to slowly start to try and phase out my morning coffee and my evening tea. More for the milk than the tea or the coffee. But I also think if I can break caffeine, then that might be good too. So, but I'm taking it in stages because I just, for me, I think doing everything cold turkey would be really difficult. And so I'm taking it in a few stages. So I am going to wind down over the next few days and I'll, I'll let everybody know how I'm getting on and, and we'll see where it goes. But my idea now is sort of to look to the first of Feb and then to maybe go super strict in Feb, like almost lion diet and really try and focus on red meat only and yeah like the the proper sort of lion diet it's like water salt and meat kind of thing and maybe some seasonings but other than that and and try that i don't know how successful i'll be and how much i'll struggle with that but i suspect that now that i've had some success for a month and i've been weaning myself off of pretty much everything already I should be able to do that. The only thing it's going to require from me is much more preparation ahead of time. So I'm going to have to get much better at meal prep because, like I've mentioned before, there isn't anywhere, if I go to work during the day, there's nowhere I can cook. I can't cook anything when I'm at work. I have a microwave and that's it. So I'm not going to, and I will not cook meat in a microwave. That is not happening. If I wanted to go out to get something or to eat something, it's going to cost me 20 pounds to do that. And I just can't, I can't afford to spend that every day to go and get a steak anywhere. So I'm going to have to go to somewhere like a cost, like Costco for people who might be in the U S or a Sam's club, or there's something over here. There's a company called Booker and Booker is the, it's like the restaurant supply company. So you can buy all the bulk goods that that deliver to restaurants and cafes and all that sort of stuff. And I used to have an account there, but over COVID, um, we weren't able to go anywhere and a lot of the accounts expired. So I just have to go back and re-register. It's crazy out there, which is why I have my headphones on because it was totally distracting. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's mad. So <laughs> I'm going to get, I'm going to go and get a, a card at Booker again so I can get access because if I do that, then I can buy like sirloin steaks and I can buy steaks in bulk and it'll be much, much less expensive. And it will mean that I can go and I can meal prep all my meals for the week. And that way I can cook the meat, cool it, slice it up, whatever. And then I can just take it in a container and I can have it for, for lunches and stuff. And it will be cheaper, hopefully than well, it will definitely be cheaper than buying a lunch out. So that's my plan to go full, full on the diet in February for the month and then we'll sort of see how it goes but until then I'm probably still like I really struggled today so one of the suggestions and I don't remember who it was from but they said that or she, I, I believe it was a woman by the username but I could be wrong so if I'm wrong I apologize but anyway the person that mentioned it suggested walnuts instead of peanuts and I really like walnuts so I think that could be a good alternative so I have had I had some walnuts yesterday and then I'll have I had a few peanuts today. Um but anyway, that's part of the plan. So I'm gonna start trying to phase that stuff out over the next few days and I might try and get off caffeine, which means it would be easier to just drink water and it would also cut out a lot more of the milk. So we'll see. But I'm gonna take some of the comments on board and for all the people that came and actually left me comments and 
a lot of the positive comments and a lot of the suggestions and everything were very helpful, but I totally appreciate I'm not following the diet to the letter and I don't care. Um, but I might try it just to see if it makes much difference from what I'm doing now. So there we go. Um, as far as sort of my, just to catch you up on the daily stats, not that it, not that I, I don't know if anybody's super interested, but um, I didn't weigh this morning, so I carried over the weight from yesterday just because I have no idea and I didn't have a scale. Um, body fat was the same. Jeez, very good sleep last night. Really a high high sleep score of 90, which was nice for being in a strange bed and sleeping um, top to tail with my son in the same bed. Um, that was pretty impressive. A uh, little over 4,000 steps, 1,700 calories. So pretty pretty much a standard day actually and and 4000 steps on a sunday is actually really good for me not going to the gym and, and doing any cardio so i was pretty happy with that other than that i think that's it for today so for any of those people who did come i did get some new subscribers as well so if anybody comes and watches this please hit the subscribe button it'll make me feel better and it will maybe get some more views and it, it seems like that this that people might be interested in in this journey. And so I will keep doing content on this. I'm not sure about the other content, so I'll do a separate thing about that if, if anybody watches any of that. But yeah, I will keep doing the diet stuff and it sounds like my house is blowing down. <laughs> that is crazy. Anyway, if we're still here tomorrow, then I'll do another video tomorrow night. So until then, enjoy what's left of your weekend, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.